Troy, another great event, another great turnout. You must be pleased. Yeah, very pleased. Um, you know, it's good to see the hard work come to fruition. But I think I've said nearly every year, it's good to hear that buzz. You know, people talking. You look across the room and we see a diverse audience. We see diverse mentors. You know, if the game could replicate that right across the board, then we'd be in a much happier place. But at least we're giving people the opportunity to have the kind of conversations that will benefit them for years to come. Some very honest answers from Greg Clark at the beginning. Uh, what was your thoughts on that? I think it's important for the people in the room to hear kind of the answers that Greg were giving. You know, it's not often they will get the opportunity to sit in a room where you have, you know, the chair of the Premier League, you have, sorry, the head of policy from the Premier League, you have the chair of the FA, um, and you have like their thoughts and feelings behind a diverse audience or a diverse football community. Um, so just for, you know, I hope the people soaked up some of what was being said. Whether they agreed with it or not, we have to listen to every single part of it. Um, and I think it's important that, you know, they can hear people like Greg and hear his thoughts and opinions and what he's doing for change as well. So hopefully it would have impacted on our audience today. You're right. Great to see the, uh, the Premier League involved as well. Um, how does this get bigger? Troy, I know it's a lot of work as it is. How does this get bigger? Do we turn this into a weekend, a festival, a, a, a tour around the country? I mean, what are the plans moving forward? I think, I think every year we've decided to do something a little bit different. So every year we've either increased the amount of people that attend or we take elements of today and, and make that probably a little bit smaller in another event. So, you know, we do a women's Razor game event. We do a media Razor game event. And this year we did a coaching Razor game. We went to West Bromwich Albion. You know, and I took 30 coaches up to West Bromwich Albion and, you know, 28 were from a, you know, black and ethnic minority background and women as well. And it's just to show them what it's like within that academy environment. What else can we do to make it bigger? Uh, you're probably right. We probably go away and we, we think about how we can improve on what is already a success. Um, do you do it over two days? Do you get bigger, better speakers? Do you get more input from the major organisations, do we kind of start working with them a little bit more to ask them what they want out of the day, but definitely what you can see is that in that room there's so many people from so many different backgrounds that it's something that all of football's governing bodies should be jumping on board with. That'll happen. Thanks, Ita.